The UTC is a water-based modified urethane top coat that's extremely durable and comes in two sheens. We have a high gloss version and a natural satin version. The natural UTC has a finish that mimics leathered granite, where the gloss is the leathered granite, but a little bit more of a shiny version. So step one, you're gonna shake the UTC, get all the ingredients that have settled, incorporated into the material. Then we're gonna let it sit as we sand the project. You could use a random orbital sander, or you could sand by hand with 220. I'll clean the dust with 91% isopropyl alcohol, and then we're ready to start mixing. The roller of choice is a quarter inch microfiber roller. They could be six, they could be nine, they could even be 18 inches wide. We're gonna de-lint these rollers, so no matter what roller you choose, the nine inch full size or the six inch mini rollers, you need to de-lint them first. I'm gonna prepare two wet rollers, and for every wet roller that I prep, I'm gonna prep two additional dry rollers. I'm gonna wipe out my paint pan, make sure that that's nice and clean. I had some dust in here from sanding. I'll wipe down this one more time. It's feeling good. It's now time to figure out how much Ultimate Top Coat to mix up. And to do that, you're gonna go width times length and divide that by 144. That's gonna give you your square footage of that project. We're gonna multiply that by 0.275. That tells us exactly how much Ultimate Top Coat to mix up without having any extra waste. We're gonna take the total amount of Ultimate Top Coat we just mixed, let's say it's 10 ounces of Ultimate Top Coat. We're gonna multiply that by 0.16. That tells us exactly how much room temperature water we're gonna add and mix that into the Ultimate Top Coat, which brings the consistency of the product from a thick Elmer's glue down to a latex paint. That is good to go there, so we'll set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna pour in part B. It's time to mix. Do not mix with a paddle mixer and a drill. I'm just using a flat bottom paint stick. When the material falls on itself, it doesn't self level immediately. You could see the pattern, right? I'm gonna add in my 1.6 ounces of water. Mix again for about 30 seconds. It's been thinned. You could see it run off and much easier. The consistency is where I want it. And that formula of 0.16 is really crucial. That gets you the exact amount of water you need for consistent results. And then we're taking our delinted roller, fully saturating it, and we're gonna apply it kinda in a V-shaped pattern, so I'm overlapping. It's crucial to have full coverage of the material on your project. And it's okay to cross hatch. What I'm looking for right now is I'm gonna get this product as even as possible before switching to the dry roller and go into my edges. So I get it on the surface first, and then hit your edges. Because when you hit your edges, you're gonna put a little indention into the roller. And then when you roll that again, it's gonna leave a, a line there. So that's why you wanna do your edges last. And then I hit this rolled part, top and bottom. If you forget to hit the rolled edge, you'll come back and you'll have a glossy section. Hit the bottom and hit the top. All right, I'm gonna set my wet roller aside into my paint pan, grab my fresh clean dry roller, and with very light pressure on the frame of the roller, I'm gonna remove excess material. I'm coming right across the surface, one direction, really light. So guys, if you have this finish, if you see the micro bubbles, you may have added a hair too much water. That's okay, do not panic. And I'll just simply go in the same direction again light pressure, you get counterproductive when you come back and keep dry rolling after the material started to set up. That's okay, those are gonna self-level and clear up. I'm gonna hit my edges one more time, hit that rolled edge real gently, and then I'm gonna let this project dry. Stop.